This map has filled up very quickly. Before we go anywhere else, let's head back to the agency. What the hell makes a person decide to become an agent? A troubled childhood? Chemical imbalance? Severe self-loathing? I don't get it. What is it that you do to deserve 20% of what I make? I tolerate you standing around asking insipid questions like that one, sweetie. Now go get busy with those auditions. You are so lucky I don't know what insipid means. Listen, Ducky Stucky, if you're having trouble with the first job, go on to the second. You can do it. I got faith in you. You do? Really? Sure, I have to. It's my job. Now get along, little doggy. Surely he meant little ducky. Hmm, cold takeout Chinese food. Well, at least this guy eats healthy. The fortune cookies are the only edible things here. <laughs> Not exactly my definition of what a cookie is. Um, what's wrong with infected men? The billboard company has a direct hotline to report trouble with their sign. How 90s consumer friendly. How politically correct. How, how am I driving? Call 1-800-GET-MY-ASS-FIRED! Hello, room service. Send up a couple of bottles of beer and a box of cigars. Oh, and your billboard's broken. Darn kids, nothing broken here. Oh, okay. Welcome, kind sir. I am Hung Ro, your humble servant. The Ancient Ones are smiling upon me for directing you into my door. What the hell happened to Chubby Dick Strip Club? It was here just last week! The health department shut the club down. They say there was more bacteria floating around in the place than in a porto party at a Grateful Dead concert. That bites! Chubby still owes me for that time I let his ugly sister Hortense give me that scratchy lap dance! I cannot help you with rap dancery, but I can provide for all your plumbing needs. Allow me to show you the Frush o 9000. If it doesn't come with a busty nymphette shaking her chimichangas in my face, forget it. I'm on a mission, Chubby. Take a hike! Your frosted insult has little effect on a Shaolin master. Your pitiful language is wholly unsuited for the true communication of insults. Oh yeah? Well, so's your old man! Nee, 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 nee. Your yin and yang are not connected, winged one. And once again, your insubstantial English words have the bite of a dog with no teeth. Leave my mother out of this, Mr. Wonton of Lard! Um... Um... Okay. Um, I'm just gonna continue on with this game. Ugh! Someone didn't realize that these are only here for display! Not here in public with everyone watching. I could never do that. I guess it's one of my shortcomings. It's out of reach and of no interest to me. Oh, it's just like the bathtub we had when I was a child. Long hours, I'd lay in it and play little splashing games. And then my mother would barge in and say, For God's sake, at least put some water in there! Um, splashing games? So, you're hung low? <laughs> oh boy! Yes, why? Are you going to ask me if I can stand on my own? Or if I can go fishing without a pole? Or if I can give your mother a lift? No, I was going to ask if you were related to the adult movie actress Sweden Low. Okay, I was not expecting that one. So, you're on a quest for inner peace. I know where you can get a piece. Inner, outer, whatever you want. Fifty bucks! Don't go there, crispy fried duck. This is a family store. So, uh, what's the deal with the plunger on your leg anyway? You did know that you had one there, right? I mean, it's not like you're walking around with a piece of spinach stuck in your teeth from lunch. Yes, I am aware. It was a horrible accident. I was in hospital for weeks. 
surrounded by beauteous female healthcare professionals dressed in those tantalizing white nylons? No, I spent all that time in the waiting room. I finally got to see a doctor, but when they found out I didn't have health insurance, they stuck me with this plunger. I took it as an omen and made my career in plumbing surprise. We have already talked of these things, my son. Oh, okay, sorry. What's all this Eastern philosophy yin-yang crap? Are Richard Gere and Tim Robbins playing ping-pong inside your head? A coin has two sides, as does man, as does nature. What? The wind can gently blow the feather or topple the mighty tree. What? This is America, pal. Let's stick to the native tongue. English is the chattering language of the monkeys in the trees. Chinese is the true language of love and insult. Oh, yeah? Well... Ling sheng dong gak ding ding tsuk ding. That is most amusing. Your face does indeed resemble a festering saw. Go ahead, laugh it up, sinking son. As soon as I get the hang of your goofy language, you're dead. That remains to be seen, web-footed one. There is nothing more to say on this issue, pan fried duckling. Dwa! Speaking Chinese should be as easy as ordering Chinese. You just point to the menu and say, I'll have the number four with the red sauce. You want everything to be so easy. You don't want to work for anything. That's the difference between us, that, and the fact that you have a tiny little brain the size of a walnut, and I have a superior intellect. Ha! Pathetic beat one can't insult me in a simple language like Chinese. Oh yeah? Well, um... Oh. Ah, uh, a And? A uh, guy, a muck. Yes? Uh, Ling Chung. Like skunk with broken tail, you make no sense. Let's try this again, Kimosabi. I'm ready for you now! Okay, so I need to work out which of these is which. Crank kiss. Hmm? Uh, Ling Chung. I see. And... Those are the first two that I need. Suck of Rin. Like skunk with broken tail, you make no sense. Okay. I got you this time, Tubby. Crank kiss. Hmm? Uh, Ling Chung. I see. Gok Hick. Never have I been so ins- Okay. That wasn't too bad. It's a garbage can lid. It's flat, round, and has a 40-inch diameter. Turn-ons include gentle sanitation engineers and green hefty bags. Turn-offs include maggots and garbage strikes. Nobody this in all my years. Try this on for size, you soy sauce swiller. Take that and some of that and take home some more in a little cardboard container. Well, how do you like that? My reg was there all wrong. Sort of funny, huh? Yeah, real funny. Almost Gallagher funny. Wait, what? That makes no sense. Okay. So these lights are apparently working. Holy mama! Now those are what I call light bulbs. Right now, sitting in his grave, Thomas Edison is getting some major wood. Fragile light bulbs ripe for the breaking, and I'm stuck down here. Well, we do have one thing that we can use. Everything you could ever want to know about singing opera can be found in this single thin volume. Okay, light bulbs, it's just you and me now. Only one of us is walking away from here. What the hell? I'm talking to light bulbs! Oh, I gotta eat more salad. The billboard company has a direct hotline to report trouble with their sign. How 90s consumer friendly. How politically correct. How... How am I driving? Call 1-800-GET-MY-ASS-FIRED! Oh, whoops. Wrong one. I can't read what your billboard says. All the lights are broken. 
You better send someone over to fix it. Well, look at that. I sure hope that roving pack of hoodlum opera singers ain't back in town. No, just one. It looks like the controls for the repair bucket. But I'd bet my autographed and sticky photo of Harry Anderson that there's another set of controls inside that bucket. Now we're cooking with unleaded. Okay, so... What in the world y'all doing down there? Knock it off, you possum lip crawdaddy. This brake locks the bucket in place, up or down. Bless those clever Japanese. Y'all just knock that business off. Cut it out, you dang idiot! Wait a second. Stop it! That's company property, you horny toad swamp rat! What are you doing down there, you scabby crab cake? That'll be enough of that tomfoolery, you hound dog looking ham hawk. I'm not too sure why that didn't work the first time. Maybe I wasn't quick enough. He may be dumb as a stump, but this repairman's got a nice truck. His parents must be so proud. Finally! Now let's see what this baby can do. Oh, I can see my life dwindling away from up here. Well, that was a lot like my prom night. Anticlimactic and lots of heavy machinery. How curious. It's a tool storage compartment. Well, that's a fine stopper. I'll call the police. A can of red spray paint. And a Spanomatic 9000 wrench. That's not going to help the cause. I'm sure it will. We'll just have to use it slightly differently. It's got Mr. Toad's wild ride bait, but that's about it. Wait. That spark plug is just what the doctor ordered. No, wait. The doctor ordered me to keep my hands off my you-know-what until it's healed. If I don't, he said I'll have to put it in a wire cage. That was very confusing. I'm not too sure why we couldn't pick it up while we went in the cherry picker. Uh, anyway. Great. I've been kicked out of my house, and now there's an electric fence and alarm system around it. I was a rotten father to my kids. It's no wonder I got locked out. I've got to win them back. How humiliating. Locked out of my own house. I feel like I'm 12 years old again. I've got to get back the respect of my family. Oh. Stephen Hawking Jr. left his toolbox chained to the electrified fence. Note to self. Mistake! The handle's busted off. I don't stand a chance of turning it on by hand. Well, luckily... It's the Spanomatic 9000 wrench. 
These are handy to bash nuts with, if you don't have a nutcracker. I keep forgetting that he burps every time we open the inventory. This should turn the faucet on. Lee Majors must have used one of these. Great! The fence is shorted out. Stephen Hawking Jr. left his toolbox. Okay. All right, now let's see if it was worth all the trouble. I'll be steamed if all that's in here is an old Limburger sandwich and a left-handed monkey wrench. It's a book. The Easy Guide to Picking Up Women. How lame. How pathetic. How sticky. I'll be doing him a favor by taking this. I don't know how. Ah, what the hell? Yeah, there really is not much we could do here right now. Oh, wait a minute, there's a duck shaped manhole in the roof. They want me to perform live? I haven't done anything live for years. Even my wedding night was previously taped. This place is great! It reminds me of the biker bar all my uncles used to hang out at. At least, Mom said they were my uncles. Hey, Fancy Pants, where's Jimmy Dante? I have to see him about a job. I'll bet he's a big fat biker dude with only three teeth and bat guano in his beard. Unfortunately, I am Jimmy Dante. Not a fitting name, but my government friends in the witness relocation program are given to bouts of jocularity. And you must be Duckman. Yes, unfortunately, I must be Duckman. I'd much rather be Juan Ecuador, Cindy Crawford's personal breast masseuse. But that was taken. It took you long enough to get here, you wilted dillweed. Yeah, her old granny could have gotten over here faster, even after that horrible incident when someone accidentally plugged the power saw into her clapper. Children, let's not drudge up any unpleasant memories. And perhaps the authorities won't either. Now, Mr. Duckman, you no doubt wondering exactly what this job entails. If it's babysitting Wednesday and Pugsley here, forget it! Oh, no, no, no. This is an acting job. The theme of this restaurant, as you've no doubt discerned, is Hades, or the Netherworld, if you will. We've been delivering pizzas for days now, but this part of the restaurant uh, opens only in a week. Diners will ride in a deep dish pizza through the three scorching levels of Pizza Hell. After descending through the third level, Diners will be baked inside their own tasty pizza, which they will have to eat the way through. You've taken the wholesome concept of eating out and given it a bizarre twist! I like it! Indeed. Now you will be appropriately costumed as the Prince of Darkness, and you will torment and act as host to our guests as they twist along the path of the ride. In order to perfect your performance, you'll be practicing today with my niece and nephew. Sounds like a Kodak moment in the making. You'll find your costume beyond this door. Give me a moment to prepare the children, then we shall begin. Now children, I really must get this ride up and running. I can't afford another mysterious death, so please, no live ammunition or poisonous reptiles beyond this point. Okay, okay, come on, let's go. Yeah, I don't want to go through puberty in here. Dancing around in a burlap suit waving a rubber pitchfork really bites the crank handle. I got into show business for the chicks. Can we get this show on the road, former television dick? Hold your water, you little <laughs> sons of <clears throat> bitches. Welcome to Dante's Infernally Good Pizzeria. You are about to partake in the demonic horrors we like to call... Um... The Three Levels of Pizza Hell. I don't know if our prepubescent little minds can handle this much fun. Ugh. I'm not too sure how I feel about this. I mean, dressing up as Satan in a world of hell is fine, but being cooked inside your own pizza? That just seems a little bit too off to me. That's where this ride begins. That's where this ride begins. Oh, okay. 
He's an ugly looking spud, but as long as he does the job of topping the pizzas. Are there any more like you two at home? Alive? Nope. If I don't get this ride moving soon, those brats are gonna squeal to their uncle, and I'll be terminated for real! Do you think we're deaf over here? You bet your feathered hiney will tell Unc. So get a move on. No. That leads to the next level. But this isn't like a Lola Luscious video where I can just fast forward to the good parts. I can't go there until I finish this level. This has got to be the switch that starts the topper machine. One push, and it's anchovies away! Prepare for the Troll Spew Pizza Topper! You will be drenched in a vomitous spray of horrific tomato sauce, along with some demented mozzarella cheese! And the meat topping of your choice. And now, let the topping begin! That was limp. I've got to fix this pile of junk to get finished here. Okay. If I can't get handsome here unclogged, I'm stuck. Luckily, we have this. It's Hung Lo's toilet plunger. Luckily, he never used it professionally. Um, uh, what happens if he used it personally? Say goodbye to clog drains! Now we're cooking with gas? Oh, wait, that's the next puzzle. Totally disgusting! Cool, huh? So, you're back for more ghoulishly tasty entertainment, eh? Like we really have a choice? We're stuck in this thing. Yeah, whatever. Well... Be prepared to be baked to a horrifying crisp here inside! The broiling bowels of Beelzebub! So get on with it already! The employee manual says that this thing is supposed to heat up to 500 degrees in a matter of seconds. Hot enough to cook your goose or bake a pizza. All I've got to do is fire it up. Wait, um... I was going to say something stupid, but obviously that will kill a human. Okay, see, it seems like we can actually leave the area and return if we need to, but we need to progress. That's the first level of pizza hell. The Ogre Spew Pizza Topper. Eh, been there, done that. Before we go anywhere. So, this is the maintenance room. Fiendishly clever. I too hope one day to be immortalized on lush black velvet in vibrant shades of glow-in-the-dark paint. I'm taking this. It's a celebrity that the public chewed up and spit out. Just like me. The pilot light isn't lit. Well, that's pretty simple. All I have to do is light it and I'm in business. If only becoming a gynecologist were this easy. This thing isn't gonna light itself. I've got to figure out a way to get it lit. It's a deadbolt. It's probably here in case someone wanted to lock themselves inside this creepy room and do something private and socially unacceptable. I can think of 15 such acts, but this isn't the time or place. What do you mean it's not the time or place? We're, we're in hell where... Well, man, there's kids here, so yeah, let's carry on. I've got to get this oven working, or I'll be stuck forever here in Little Caesar's Underworld! I didn't even check to see if this was actually working. According to the employee training video, once depressed, this thing will fire up the oven. Here goes, kids! This is gonna hurt you more than it hurts me! Which is good! Tick-tock, tick-tock, old dude! Get this thing happening, or we file a report with Unk and your ancient history. I'm calm. I'm cool. I won't kill them. Yet. I can wait a few more years until they're not minors. So this should be a simple act of... 
use the matches. The cover is gone, but the matches are still good. And remember, kids, only you can prevent trailer park fires. Simple as pie. I wonder why no one's done this before. A bit of a draft problem in here, I see. Okay, I like a challenge. I'm not licked yet. Although if I were, I know just the person I'd want to do the licking. Close says me! Oh dear. Open says me! Okay, let's do a quick cut. Duckman, you're done already. Excellent. I was afraid you might need some incentive, uh, like, say, having your tender meat stomped on by Gene Simmons. No need for that, Mr. Dante. I'm still on the job. Be done in two shakes. Maybe three. Okay. I was going to do a cut, but then that happens. Say, what's that tingling? Yeehaw! Velvet Elvis lives! This puppy is all charged up and glowing now! I've got to hand it to Dante. He makes a hell of a pizza! This place looks like it was decorated by the same guy that decorated my old college frat house. Oh, those were wild drunken days back at Animal House! Until Dean Wormer decided to... Oh, wait. I'm confusing reality with the movies again, aren't I? In a matter of days, I've gone from a weekly television series to this? How low have I sunk? Uh, sunken. I mean, how, how low have I sank? Sank? Sanken? Sanka? I drink Sanka! Sink! Kitchen sink! I don't care! Whatever! This is pretty low. I trust you're keeping my niece and nephew happy and all is well? Absolutely! There have been a few technical glitches, but I'm working them out, sir. The last thing I want to do is wake up in the trunk of an old Chevy sitting on the railroad tracks waiting for the 415 Express. I'm glad we understand one another, but now it's the 345 Express. The accursed railroad changed it. This is really a twisted place you've dreamed up. It's morally corrupt and offends on every level that I can imagine. And even a couple that I can't. And what, you fancy yourself an expert in things twisted? You bet your buttered biscuits. My high school graduating class voted me most twisted and most likely to be arrested for committing a lewd act in public. So I know wherever I speak. A divine, all-seeing, all-knowing, mechanical fortune teller. My Aunt Stella had one of these predict her untimely death. Sure enough, 12 years later, BAM! Being where this is a slow point in the game, I should see what my future holds. Tell me, Lucifer, will I marry for love or for money? You will burn in hell. Nice. It's good to know that we have a future. Close says me. It's fully charged up now and ready for action. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm blind. I was warned. I finally got blind. Wait, wait. Really? Open says me. I should put this back. The room seems, I don't know, empty without it. I was wrong, the room still seems empty. It is a little brighter in here, though. Close says me! This is it. I feel that special tingle. And there's no livestock around. So this time it's gonna happen. Spank me for saying so, but now we're cooking with gas.